Hi there, so today I'm going to have a go at making the crankshaft for the Stuart S50. So just before we start, um, Andy at uh, Stuart Models has just got back to me about these Duff 7BA uh, bolts. Uh, now he reckons that uh, they had a Duff batch made um, and maybe some have uh, got into the kits. So he's going to uh, send me the proper 7BA bolts in the post. Um, so, you know, you can't complain at that and, uh, you know, very good customer service. Anyway, um, on with the crankshaft. Now, um, this is my three-jaw chuck and um, it's not got uh, capacity to uh, enable me to machine this because obviously I can't get in here um, with the tools. Uh, so I'm going to have to put it onto a four-jaw chuck. And uh, just before I do that, I'm going to mark up the uh, centre. I'm just going to scribe some lines here. And uh, I'll use a little punch. Um, that'll help me sort of line it up on the uh, four jaw chuck. Now, this obviously isn't um, for engineering, but uh, it, it, I use it on uh, my wood turning, and I think it's reasonably accurate for uh, this type of work. Well that is pretty much spot on. So what I'll do off camera is just true up the face and take a thou off the side. Uh, I think I'll run it around about uh, 200 rpm. So first of all I'm going to tap the centre and uh, apparently um, the original machines were made with a left hand thread now obviously not many people have got left hand uh, taps and dies, including me. Um, so uh, Tubal Cane uh, suggests a number of options really. Um, and the option I'm going to go with is I'm going to um, tap it to 3 sixteenths by 40. And um, on assembly uh, I think I'll use some kind of... Um, a thread lock or something like that to uh, secure it in place. So um, I've already drilled um, at least half an inch at depth with a, a 2mm drill bit. This is a 4.2. So I'll drill 4.2 and then I'll start tapping. This is just finishing it off with the bottom tap. So the idea now is to uh, create a boss uh, which will be 7 sixteenths in diameter and um, 1 sixteenth of an inch uh, sort of high. Um, now this process um, of machining is very similar to what I did when I made the cylinder covers. Um, so I'll do this bit off camera. So I've cleaned this face up and uh, it's come quite well with uh, some wet and dry and uh, a bit of Yorkshire grit. And uh, I've put a fine line down the centre and it'll become clear a bit later on as to why we need that. So now it's time to part off and uh, we need to part off an eighth of an inch from this uh, front face here. So I've honed the parting tool and I think we need to use plenty of uh, lubrication. Right, I think I need to speed it up a bit. Seems to be working a lot better now. Okay, so I've come to the conclusion that uh, WD40 is a good lubricant.
at last. Okay, so to uh, face up the other side of the disc, I decided to uh, put a thread on a piece of mild steel bar um, and just attach it to the thread. And that seems to work pretty well, it, it runs pretty true. Uh, so I'll just uh, clean this face up until it's an eighth of an inch thick. I'm just cleaning the face up now with a bit of wet and dry. Well that worked out pretty well actually. And uh, now I need to go on to the next stage. And to be honest I just don't understand the instructions. I must have spent hours reading this over and I still don't understand it. It says the final job on the crank are the hole for the crank pin and forming the shape. So it's a centre pop for the hole so that'll be there, which is five eighths of an inch from the center. And uh, but before drilling, scribe two faint lines at three sixteenths of an inch radius. So I'm guessing it means from here, some lines that coincide with the edge at three sixteenths radius. But these lines here aren't at three sixteenths of an inch radius, so I don't get that. And um, it says then says go to the faint line opposite and using this as centre, scribe faint lines at the edge at eleven sixteenths. Now I'm guessing that that is somehow to define these points here. And then it says join them up, but again the the maths just don't work out. The dimensions are totally seem to be totally wrong to me. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to drill and tap here. Um, for the crank pin uh, which will be tapped to 5BA and then to work out where these lines should be I'm just going to drop it on there and sort of like trace through and then I'll cut it with a hacksaw and then finish it off with a file but I'll do all that off camera so I'll see you in a bit so, having thought about it properly, uh, I've decided to use the mill instead of the hacksaw. Well that seemed to uh, turn out pretty well, quite happy with uh, the shape and uh, now I need to put a thread on the end of the shaft and cut it to length. So I've turned this down to 3 sixteenths in diameter and um, I need to create just an undercut here. So um, I've, I don't think I've got a tool to do that so I'm going to use um, hacksaw blade. <laughs> Never tried this before. And that seems to have worked. OK, so I've just put the disc on the shaft and uh, just testing run out here. So that's on zero. On the other side, it's around about one and a half thou out, so I think uh, we'll be OK with that. Now, um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, lock tight it on with this 638. And there we have it.
And that is why the disc is shaped as it is. So you can actually get it onto the bed plate. Just fits. So I'm struggling here a bit. Um, this is the crank pin I'm trying to make. And this is a 5BA thread. Only goes on an eighth of an inch. And I just can't cut it far enough. I've tried undercutting the edge here. Um, but I've not got a proper tool. I've been using the hacksaw blade again. Um, but I'm still struggling with it. So I think what I'm going to do is... Um, Cut that bit off. I'm going to try threading inside and I'll make my own 5BA thread so I can thread it on and then cut it off to size. So we'll uh, see whether that works. Tubal cane has got an alternative approach but um, it seems a bit fiddly to me. Well I'm uh, struggling a bit with this crank pin so my plan now, I think this is plan C, is I've made a 5BA thread on this piece of bar which I'll chuck up. I've also made a 5BA thread in this piece of bar so I'm going to lock tight that on there. I'll put this end in the chuck and then I'll machine this side to be the head and then I'll part it off at the bottom. So that should leave me with a piece of thread that goes right up to the edge. Um, so let's see if it works. Well that took a while, three attempts. Um, I mean I'm, I'm really happy that it's um, perpendicular with the crank. Um, but I've, I've messed up at the last stage, I've put a slot in it and I'm just not happy with it. It's too wide and it's off centre. So um, it'll do me for now, but I think I'm going to have a go at remaking that at some point in the in the future. Now I know the method, uh, it should be a lot quicker. And I'm not happy with a slot. Um, I think I'll probably choose Tubal Kane's approach. He puts a couple of holes in it and. Uh, I think he makes a little uh, tool to uh, tighten it up. Um, but anyway, um, we sort of got there in the end. Well, that turned out to be a bit of a struggle. Um, I mean, I, I think the crankshaft and the uh, crank disc has worked out really, really well. Um, and functionally, the crank pin, I think, is spot on perpendicular. Um, but I'm just not happy with his appearance. Um, I just messed up on the on the last hurdle of uh, cutting that slot. It's just not really a pretty sight. Um, so, like I said, I think I'll remake that at some point in the future. Uh, but at least I now know uh, the method I would follow next time. Anyway. Um, I hope you found the video interesting and uh, I hope you sort of like the results so far. <laughs>